Today, I'm going to teach you how to build and tune your weapon. You know, weapon tuning is a brand new feature in Warzone 2, and it is absolutely necessary for you to have success and get more kills. It's something that all the pro players are doing and really allows you to create that perfect gun for yourself. Now, when we're talking about building and, and tuning a weapon, three main things that we're balancing. ADS speed, range, and recoil. Now, with some machine guns, we're also factoring in mobility, but for the most part, it's going to be ADS, range, and recoil. Let's go ahead and start with recoil right here. The important thing to note, and I'm going to give you a full video down in the comments below, I'm going to link it for you, to True Game Data who tested all of this and really goes in depth, but here's the overarching theme of recoil. You've got recoil steadiness, recoil stabilization, you have recoil smoothness, and you have recoil control. Why they have four different things of recoil, I have no idea, but here's the overarching theme. Recoil stabilization doesn't do much for you. Recoil smoothness does not do much for you. Recoil steadiness does a little bit, and recoil control does the most. So you just want to be keeping that mind when actually choosing your attachments. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and start off with it. This is an AR. This is a Lockman. I'm going to tune it exactly how I like to and really show you my process for tuning this gun. We're going to throw on polyatomic here just because I love the camo. We're going to go in and start with the 60 round mag. 60 round mag for an AR is definitely necessary in, you know, the bigger map and when challenging quads. Of course, if you're playing solos, you can do a little, it a little bit differently. LMGs, you generally have a big mag. But let's really just focus on the Lockman here. 60 round mag, no tuning. Now, I'm going to build the gun and then I'm going to tune the gun. Next up, we're going to go to high velocity here. High velocity helps with bullet velocity, which really helps on the big map because it gets to the target quicker, allowing you you know there's less bullet drop off so if you're fighting somebody at 70 80 meters you can potentially still hit headshots now let's go ahead and talk about the muzzle here there's a lot of different options for muzzles one thing that i like to keep in mind is sound suppression is not an issue you don't pop up on the minimap when you're actually shooting so i'm not looking for sound suppression and you lose a lot of ads speed but again this is how you go about building your gun you do get a little bit of bullet velocity and damage range I tend to lean towards the back here, which is vertical and horizontal recoil control. Now, this is all just testing out, and I'm going to show you exactly how I test it. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and throw on one that I wouldn't use, right? Let's go ahead and throw on the the you know this one right here, the X10 ported. Let's just try it out and see how it feels, and then I'll show you how I go about finding the perfect one. Right here, you know, I don't need movement, ADS speed, recoil control, bullet velocity. That's good. Damage rage and bullet velocity. That's a good one right there. Let's go ahead and go with this one, though. The Lockman Wrap Barrel. We got bullet velocity. We've got damage range. We've got recoil control, right? That helps with the range. That helps with the recoil. So let's go ahead and equip that. Then we kind of have a few options. Right here, a lot of people are running the FTAC Ripper. As I said, recoil stabilization, stabilization does not do a, a whole lot for you. So let's go rear grip first. Let's see what happens when we put on... Okay, so there's nothing with recoil control here. That's my main focus. So let's go to the stock here. By the way, I am running no optic. So in it, you can actually get away with it. It's kind of scary how much you can get away with it. But you don't need like a 3x or 4x optic for the most part. So we've got recoil control. We've got aiming stability, sprint speed, sprint speed. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with recoil control right here. So that's our initial build. Let's take a look at it in the firing range real quick, which is down at the bottom. So recoil feels okay. You know, if I were to just let this go, it's got a little bit a vertical recoil that feels pretty good right there actually and there's not too much horizontal obviously slow slow reload time right there slow ads time so now we need to adjust a little bit i actually kind of like this a lot and this is one like i said i hadn't used the ported but the port is actually kind of nice so let's go ahead first up let's go to the uh the ammunition first you know in terms of this we're kind of going to leave that balance right we've got damage range and let me explain this weapon tuning right here and i want you to focus on the graph first of all Look in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. See the little chart right there? Now, mm, this may not be the best one. Let me see if we go to this one. Okay, this is a good one. See how in the bottom right-hand of the screen, accuracy and recoil are increased. Mobility and handling are decreased, okay? So, you know, when we're looking at tuning, it's still going to give us that increase or decrease. The what this changes is the amount. So as I go to ADS speed, you can see the fact that the ADS speed gets a little bit better. And I don't need to aim walking steadiness. I'm never going to be walking around a corner with my AR. I'm going to have my submachine gun out. So I'm going to be using, I want that ADS speed. Do I need aim walking speed? Not really. Do I need aiming stability? Yeah, because that's going to allow me to be more stable at range when I'm not actually shooting somebody i'm just looking now the other thing i want to talk about here is kind of the the law of diminishing returns right so you know that's not really a great example let's go ahead and jump to let's go ahead and jump to here now let's go ahead and put in some recoil stabilization see how you get to a point where the you know the left side of handling just starts to bounce you don't always have to max this thing out now this one i do want to max out because of course look at the recoil right so that goes all the way up 
but then the ADS speed actually pops back out a little bit. So we're going to put that all the way up. And then we're actually going to go to gun kick control. This is a great example right here. Watch, go, watch the recoil. See how the recoil doesn't really move from here to here? So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bump this down a little bit. I'm going to go to the point where, you know, I get good gun kick control, but I still have pretty good aiming idle stability. It doesn't fully take it off right there. So that's kind of my thought process. So we've got the barrel now. Again, don't really need aim walking movement speed or aim walking speed. So we're going to bump this up. Where's the law of diminishing returns? So this kind of goes all the way down here, right? So we can go to about right there. Then we want damage range or ADS speed. I'm going to bump this a little bit towards damage range. Let me see how that feels. And then we can always come back and adjust this if we need to. Now, do we have everything tuned right here? Do we want a little bit of bullet velocity? Let's put a little bit of bullet velocity on. And this is where you just start to play around with it and really see how it feels overall. Do we want recoil smoothness? Let's see. Let's leave that at zero for now and see how that feels. So I think we should be okay right here. Let's see. Okay, so that ADS speed's a little slow, but this thing, I mean, this thing feels really, really good overall. Um, now, let me go back and try a different one. So I was running the, I've been running the castle comp a lot. So we got recoil stabilization. We got ADS speed right here. That's going to drop down right there. Let's go ahead and go to gun kick control. And part of this could be your aim down sight speed. Watch the aim down sight. Watch the handling right here. See how as you bump it out more? You can kind of see where it dips off. Okay, so I don't get any more recoil stabilization. So I can actually put it right there. Let's see how this one feels. So it's still got a pretty slow ADS time, but this is actually, this is my um, this is my long range. Now let's go ahead and try one more. Let's try the sock and tread right here and see how I like this one. And I'm trying to balance recoil as well as ADS speed. So once again, we're going to go to right there. Let's go gun control, gun kick control kind of all the way up or to that point. Let's see how this feels. Guys, and this is my process. So I like that a lot. That feels really good. So now I'm ready to drop in. And the last thing I'll leave you with, besides if you've made it this far, thank you. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Is, you know, this is fine tuning. So you might get in the game and be like, this doesn't feel as good as I want it to. Maybe I need to adjust this a little bit more. And you can absolutely do that. You know, the firing range is only, I don't know how many meters away this is, but the firing range isn't as far as you're going to be fighting people in Al Mazra. So we want to use that to our advantage. I'm going to leave you with a few clips of this build out this build right here i'm gonna be doing a loadout video here soon but as i always say let's get better today and i will see you tomorrow